So tonight I've got the Mead 6000 series set up on the Advanced VX mount and I am shooting the Triangulum Galaxy M33 which is another galaxy in our local group uh, with the Andromeda Galaxy, with our Milky Way Galaxy and uh, you know like the large and small Magellanic clouds which are visible in the southern hemisphere. Uh, M33 is a really cool uh, galaxy. It's got that nice spiral structure that really comes through well in the photographs and there's lots of condensing inside the, the bands of the galaxy, the arms, so you, you really see these knots and these bulges and, you know, where nebulae and stars are being formed. And it's just a really cool uh, galaxy to look at, uh, both photographically and visually, although it, it is um, very large. It's spread over a, a pretty large area of the sky. It's diffuse. Um, so it's got a high, um, the magnitude, it's listed quite bright. But uh, it's actually difficult to see um, if you're not in a dark sky site. So uh, it can be a bit difficult to find visually uh, with the telescope and with binoculars. If the if the sky is just not dark, it'll it'll get washed out pretty pretty easily. But uh, some folks can see this galaxy with the naked eye, which would then be the most distant object that you can see, as it's about three million light years away. It's a little bit more distant than the Andromeda galaxy. Uh, but it's just a, a really cool, really cool uh, target, and I'm going after it tonight, so this is quite fun. Um, so why don't we take a look at uh, the guiding and some of the subs that I've acquired, and then we'll, we'll transition over into the final image. So here's a look at my guiding in PhD2 tonight as I am shooting the Triangulum Galaxy. It's quite good. A uh, total air of 0.87 is not very bad. Um, and we'll take a look at a sub of M33, the Triangulum. There it is, this is zoomed in. This is right on the core there. You can see some of the spiraling, um, bright, bright kind of looking knots and areas in the galaxy. The stars are pretty round. We'll zoom out here. And you can see there it is in the center. It's filling in a good good portion of the of the field of view so yeah that's just uh, how the guiding is going tonight it's pretty pretty good and a quick look at one of the subs so I'm gonna collect as much data as I can it looks like some clouds are starting to roll in from the south so I don't know how long I'll be able to to keep working this we do have some tropical storms and stuff out in the Gulf and uh, uh, it's just getting a lot of clouds around and uh, pushing them all over the place we're going through a dither here now but uh Hopefully we'll we'll stay pretty clear tonight, so I can get some good good data. I might have to to do multiple nights on this, but uh, we're off to start, so we'll see how all this turns out. 